this is Minecraft Exploits Expo. I'm your host, Soap the Great. This is going to be the first episode in a hopefully infrequent series um, around every up, uh, every update of Minecraft. There tend to be some bugs that happen to get out. Um, and uh, well, they just don't catch them, and with the amount of people playing this game, um, they tend to get found. And and some of them, some of the bugs can turn into some really interesting exploits that you can use to help you in your survival world. Um, not so much in your creative world because you pretty much have the entire uh, gauntlet of blocks available to you. But um, yeah, so we're going to take a look at three different bugs in this game. Hopefully I can get all of them to work. Um, if not, then um, you'll just have to take my word for it and then look in the video description below and look at the links that I provide. There are uh, a few of the bugs they, and they're covered in single videos and what I want to do is just pull them all together and uh, show you how you can use them to your advantage at least until they get fixed. So for now Let's start with the first one. Say uh, you're in 1.7.2, and that, these bugs are just for 1.7.2 right now. They don't exist in 1.6 or earlier, um, namely because one of them requires a new sapling. So um, the, the first one, say you do go get that new sapling. You go to the roof forest. You like that dark oak wood. Um, you grab, you, you chop down a tree. You take most of the wood. You take some leaves and then you destroy a leaf and get a sapling. And you come back thinking, oh, hey, I've got one sapling, I'm good. No, not so, because the dark oak sapling, uh, you actually have to have four to be able to grow it. So um, how are you going to get four? You've got to go back to the roof forest, right? Nope, nope. Let's, let's take a piston, put it on the ground, and then take a block of your choice, put it next to the piston, and then put a button on that block of choice and then put a flower pot down in front of the piston and put the dark oak sapling in there okay punch the button you know what it put all of them in there let me put two here i've got 30 in my inventory so let's try this so i've got two here it should it should go into that one See that? I've got three now. Let's just show that again. Put one in. Now I've got four. Okay, so now you have your four. That's a duplication bug. And it doesn't work with just dark oak saplings. Let's take this allium, brand new flower, by the way. Oh, and hey, how many allium do I have? That's right, two. So, you know, did I get the. There's the flower pot. Kind of blends in. And it will also work with this beautiful new orchid. And uh, just to show you, it's not just the new stuff. This dead bush has been around for quite some time. There we go. Two dead bushes. So there you go. There's your first duplication bug. Now that you have four dark oak saplings, you need to get 32 total. And that's because we need to go do another um, another exploit. So let's put away uh, this stuff because we don't need that anymore. We've got we got 34. That's more than enough. And uh, so the other thing, well, what we need to do is we need to get to the roof of the Nether, um, and that. It's generally easier said than done. I've already scoped out a place. Let me get some dirt here. And uh, you need to go to the roof of the nether because that's what this exploit is for. Okay, so the thing to keep in mind with the roof of the nether is that it is made of bedrock. And this bedrock varies anywhere from 120. Let's get to head height with this one. Okay, so my head is level with the uh, bedrock right in front of me. So let's pull up F3. 
and you notice right here the Y is 122 okay feet position oh that's feet okay so the Y is 123 for my head position or eyes position you see that it's kind of hard for me to point because that uh, the cursor doesn't go up there so you want an eyes position of 126 and that actually um, rounds up well you're at 126 okay thing to keep in mind about the nether is that it is only 128 blocks tall it's level 0 to level 127 okay um, those numbers actually mean something for computer scientists you you might know um, but uh, if you're not a computer scientist you probably don't pay much attention to it but it is a one of the magic numbers in binary world um, and uh, we'll, we'll get into that in just a bit but for now what you need to do is get as high as possible in the in your eyes position okay so 124 125 126 they're all good okay we need to get up to the roof of the nether you can glitch yourself through using an ender pearl okay I'm gonna do that real quick did I get a yeah I've got a health potion because I might need it by the time I get through no it didn't let me through so now it's going to take me far away yep there we go <sighs> so I'll, uh, I'll I'll have a bit of time getting back so anyway I am now through the roof of the nether and um, we got a bit nope uh, there we go okay so the next thing so don't look at those those right there um, this next exploit let me turn off the F3 this next exploit has to do with um, this bedrock so normally you can glitch through that's that's all well and good but um, it's a one-way trip okay in, in most cases you would not be able to get back unless you had brought some obsidian with you and did a quick portal right so you can build that well now it's gonna that's gonna be interesting so you'd have to build a portal or just face the loss of all your stuff and uh, issue the kill command okay because you you can do that and uh, don't mind the stuff you see in the background we're gonna get to that in just a moment but this is the only other way that you would be able to get down. So if you didn't come through prepared, um, you you essentially have to kill your player, and you'd lose all your stuff. So for me, that would be the workhorse pick, slap chop, and my candy dig, and uh, this very nice diamond sword, which I don't know why is in my inventory. It needs to be in the inner chest. Um, so that's the only way, and that would take you back to the overworld, and you cannot get back through you'd have to use the ender pearls again but there is a glitch in 1.7.3 that involves the use of the dark oak saplings so what you do is you you need to grow some dark oak saplings so what we're gonna do is we're okay so we bone mealed that it's very nice in fact it's nice enough that I want to take a screenshot so let me pull off the heads up display this is for the uh, thumbnail. That's what we'll do. Okay, and we're back. Now, what you need to do is you need to take your axe or, or just punch the wood out and just that bottom layer, okay? Just the bottom layer. And we're going to grow the tree again, okay? And, and it's going to take a bit. And hopefully they haven't fixed it without a version update. Okay, that's what we want to see. And I did not bring any shears or iron. Let's see what we got here. Whoa. Now, ladies and gentlemen, do you realize what just happened? That's right. That used to be bedrock. That's right. Used to be. It is no longer bedrock. 
That is a bug that currently exists in 1.7.2. I will keep you apprised of that as the uh, versions go, but in all likelihood they will get that fixed. But that means that there is a, uh, well this is dangerous, Yep, so there we go. There's a hole in the roof of the nether. Which is normally made of bedrock, so you can't push it with pistons, you can't um, you can't blow it up with TNT, even a creeper won't blow it up, a charged creeper won't blow it up, and the wither will not blow it up. Bedrock is generally immovable, and so this trick allows you to get through the bedrock, which gives you two-way access and now you see I've already done that um, so now I'll just put two holes through the roof oh it's probably over there somewhere I'm not gonna worry about it because I've got this one um, I will tell you this um, this is all leading up to the next potential exploit and uh, to get that one to work um, I have needed to go into a single-player mode instead of multiplayer. Um, the next one I've not been able to get to work in multiplayer, so we'll see if it works here. But I will link a this, um, another video in the description for that. But let's build that machine real quick. So here we go, back down into the regular part of the nether. And I'm going to build uh, this little machine here. You'll need two hoppers, a comparator, and a, a repeater. And you want the hopper facing into each other. Um, so first you put it facing into that block and then hold down shift and click it right there. So you want the two hoppers facing like that. Okay, Out of one of them just put this comparator and then out the end of that put the repeater. Um, now what that's going to do is it set up a hopper timer. Okay, the other part requires being on the roof of the nether, and that's where this two-way access really comes in handy. Okay, now I forgot to note something. Um, we're going to pull up the F3 screen again. Okay, and you need to note right here your location, your X and Z. Your X or my X currently is 72. And the Z is negative 109, uh, negative 110 because it, it rounds up. Um, and then if you notice here, you know what, it's kind of hard to see, but next to the X and Z, there's two forward slashes and then a C. And by the X, there's a number 4. And by C, there's a negative 7. Or by Z, there's a negative 7. And then in parentheses, 8 and 2 for the X and Z respectively. Now you want to make sure um, that you start off in the roof at the uh, first number, so 4 and negative 7. Okay, so that's where we're going to go. And that is your chunk coordinate. Okay, so the way Minecraft has set up its uh, world uh, loading is that it splits the entire world into sections called chunks. And a chunk is 16 blocks wide by 16 blocks long by 256 blocks high. And those numbers all mean something. They are magic numbers in the binary world. Uh, 16 is 2 to the 4th, and 256 is 2 to the 8. Two to the eighth. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that. That might be slightly off. It's um, and the the way it measures it is zero base. So it's zero to two fifty five. Um, zero is at the lowest level, and two fifty five way up there for the nether. Uh, one hundred twenty eight right here uh, for my feet position. Um, but uh, for the sixteen, it's going to go from. 0 to 15. So if you look here by the X, we're still in 4 and negative 7 on those first numbers, but the parentheses for X is 0, 
and for z it's 7. Okay, 0 means we're at the first block of the chunk. So if you watch the x, the x coordinate, we're going to go over 1 and it drops down to 3. So we're in chunk 3, negative 7. Here we're in 4, negative 7. Just right there. So right there is a chunk border. And that comes in handy. So um, what you need to do is you need to find all of the chunk borders going at least 200 out that way. So you start off in the same chunk that you just built that device down below and go out 200 and every chunk border you want to put hoppers facing into each other. So if you note here, I've gone in the negative Z direction. So if you look at negative Z or at Z, I'm currently at negative 7 and the position 0 and over here is 15. So I switch chunks. Okay? And you go out 200. Now you can go in the uh, negative x direction, positive z, positive x, or negative z. Either way, just go out 200 from your starting point, and that's going to be right here. And so I've already done that. I've done those uh, hopper chains. And what's happening here, it's part of the mechanics of the hoppers. Um, when Minecraft is loading up a chunk, if it sees a hopper on the chunk border, it is actually going to load up the next chunk. Okay, So at every chunk going out 200, when this chunk loads, Minecraft is going to load up that chunk and that one and further on all the way out 200. So what we're doing is we're loading up a lot of chunks. Um, sorry to get into the technical details, but that is what's going on there. Okay, Now we're going to see if this works. Now I've seen a video where it does work, but it may not. And we're going to try something high value. Okay, We've got a beacon um, and I'm going to put it into here and, and it's just doing this, this clock thing going back and forth and I'm going to go out. Let me get rid of the uh, F3. We'll go back to the overworld. Okay, And we're going to wait 10 seconds, 12 seconds, something like that. So one, two, three. And then we're going to go back in. Okay, Hopefully this works. If it doesn't, then it's be a giant fail and you just have to take my word for it. Um, and, and it's not working for me. I've tried. I've tried multiplayer, single player. Um, I'm not entirely sure. It could have something to do with um, my slow computer, but it's certainly not lag time on the network because I'm not connected to the multiplayer server. So I am sorry about that, folks. We're just going to call that a fail for now. But uh, hopefully you learned something about uh, Minecraft technical details. Um, and if you have any questions about some of those those concepts, feel free to ask. Um, if you have any suggestions as to how to get that to work, that would be great, especially before 1.7.3 or 1.7.4 come out, because I would love to be able to duplicate a beacon or just a wither skeleton skull. That would be nice, because um, I could show you something else. But uh, I can't for the moment because I have to go harvest them myself. But uh, anyway, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this and want to see more in the future as I see them, um, give it a like um, and even subscribe. Um, but if you have any suggestions or you know some improvements to maybe help me get this duplicator to work for the time being, that would be great too. Um, I would love to hear your suggestions. Love to hear your comments. But uh, that is going to be it for now, and hopefully that will be it for some time, and uh, they don't have any more major bugs that allow duplication or uh, neat things where we can exploit the game a little bit. But uh, that is it for now. Until next time, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.